team, Miss Casey here and Mr. Forrest here. Welcome to our first week of our on-demand classes. Congratulations to any students who moved up to their belt last week for belt promotions. Let's get started. We've got some new, fun, exciting stuff for you guys today. Ready, tension. Spread your feet, bend your knees, make fists and cover, feet together, and bow. Relax stance, student creed, begin. True, true build, build, true, true confidence. confidence. I'm as proud, knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. We're going to pass it off to Mr. Forrest here for our warm-up today. Thank you, sir. All right, team, for our warm-up today, we are going to be doing some jab crosses. We're also going to be working on some knees. So everybody tap on that right leg. We're going to get back into our gravity stance. All right, team, we are going to start off with the jab cross first. We are going to use our front hand for that jab. So when I say jab, we are going to punch out with that front hand and bring it right back to our face. All right, team, jab, 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 jab. Jab, 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 jab. Right team, switch your feet. All right, same thing on the other side. Remember, we're using our front hand. All right team, jab, 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 jab. All right team, switch your feet. Next, we are going to throw in that cross. So the cross is going to come off of our back hand. So we're going to jab with our front and cross with our back. All right, team. Jab, cross. 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 All right, team, switch your feet. Now we're going to be doing that same thing. Remember, jab off the front hand, cross off the back hand. All right, team. Jab, cross, 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 jab, cross. All right, team, jump up, switch your feet. All right, now we're gonna add in that knee. So our knee is gonna come off of our back leg. And team, we wanna bring up our knee as high as possible. We don't wanna bring it down like that. We wanna come all the way up, just like that, as high as you can get it. First, we're just gonna work on some knees. So when I say knee, we are gonna bring up our back leg as high as we can. All right, team, knee, knee. Knee, 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 knee. Jump up, switch your feet. All right, team, we're gonna be doing the same thing, except on the other side. Remember, we are kneeing off of our back leg. All right, team, knee, knee, knee. Knee, 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 knee. All right, team, switch your feet. Now we're going to add that whole thing together. We're going to jab off our front hand, cross off our back hand, and then we're going to knee with our back leg. All right, team, jab, cross, knee. 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 All right, team, switch your feet. Same thing on the other side. Jab with the front, cross with the back, and knee off of that back leg. Jab, cross, knee. 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 
Jab, cross, knee. Switch your feet. All right, relax, stance. Now we're gonna go into our self-defense with Miss Casey. Awesome, thank you, sir. Team, next is our self-defense. We're working on the attack straight punch. So, first thing we're gonna work on is the first concept of getting our body out of the way and deflecting that punch. We're gonna be working on both sides today. So all I want you to do is take one leg. You're gonna start by stepping out on a 45 degree angle. And as you do that, you're gonna take that same side hand and you're gonna do a parry. And we're gonna switch to the other side. Ready, step, and parry. Again, step, and parry. Good, we're gonna speed up as we go. Step, and parry. Ready, move, deflect. Move, deflect. Move, deflect. And again, reset, ready, go. And go. And go. And go. And one more time, go. All right, now let's look at an application. Mr. Forrest, I'm gonna grab you, sir. Do punch me in the face. So as that punch comes in, we talked about moving our body out of the way as we do that parry to deflect the punch. Notice how I'm stepping to the outside of his arm. That parry's gonna go right in the elbow region. So again, if we do that, move my body out of the way, parry. Now I wanna follow it up with a counter. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys get a little creative today. We could counter with an elbow right to the rib cage. I could step counter eye dart. I could counter kick, okay? I could step counter palm. Lots of different options. Today, let's drill the elbow for a little bit. Again, if you guys want to get creative and add a different move in there, try it out. See what comes comfortable for you. So here we go. We're going to do step, parry, elbow. Ready, step, parry, elbow. Reset, step, parry, elbow. Reset, step, parry, elbow. Reset. This time I'm just going to say go. We're going that direction. Ready, go. Soup up. Reset, and go. Soup up. Reset and go. Soup up. Reset and go. Soup up. Reset and go. Soup up. All right, let's add one more concept here. This time we're going to talk about how to gain control of that partner. So now my attacker is back here. He comes in with that punch. I'm going to get my body out of the way, parry. And now we're going to add a chop to the pressure point sliding down, grabbing the wrist. Again, the point of the grab is to gain control. From here, we can also add that counter. It could be a punch, it could be another elbow. We could do a kick if they're too close, maybe a knee. Today, let's work on that roundhouse kick. So we're gonna parry, chop, grab, right leg, snaps out that roundhouse kick. Thank you, sir. Let's track, let's practice that. So we're gonna start, ready, step. Harry, other hand's going to come underneath and switch those hands as you chop. Grab their wrist, and in this case, it's my right leg, right hand grabbing, right leg kicking. And we cover out. Let's try it on the other side. We step, we parry, chop with the other, grab, and that same leg, roundhouse kick, and we cover out. Again, we reset. We're going this way, ready, go. Harry, chop, grab, press, uh, cover out. Reset, going this way, ready, step, parry, chop, grab, press, uh, and cover out. Again, going this way, ready, go. Parry, chop, grab, press, uh, cover out. And again, going this way, ready, go. Parry, chop, grab, uh, cover out, going up to full speed this time. If you guys need to go back and review, just rewind this video to take some more time to practice. Once you feel like you've got it down, you can start speeding it up and trying some of those different counters if you'd like. Here we go, ready, going this way, ready, go. Stop, stay back. And go, soup, soup. Stop, stay back. Two more times, ready, go, soup, soup. Stop, sit back. And last one, ready, go. Soup, soup. Stop, stay back.
All right, guys, relax, dance. We are gonna move on to our kata. Today's open hand kata is long one. I would like everybody to review this. Even if you're a black belt, it's always good to refresh these katas. So we are going to start feet together, taking our right hand, bring it up. Tempo kata, long one. Those of you who learn short one, this kata will look very familiar to some of you. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is start with our left leg. We're gonna step back into that heel toe position. Just like again, if you're familiar with short one, it's that same stance. And we're even gonna start with the same block, inward block. Now, the difference with short one and long one is we add some more stances. We add some front stances, some pad stances, some other stances you'll see later. Um, but we're also gonna add some punches in here. As we do this reverse punch next, we're gonna transition our stance into a front stance, meaning our front leg is bent, our back leg is straight, and my toes are pointed forward. Notice how my feet didn't leave that heel to toe position. They just pivoted forward and transitioned into that front stance. So let's start over from the beginning. Feet together, tempo kata, long one. Starting with our left leg back, inward block, soup. We're gonna turn into that front stance as we reverse punch with the other hand. So from here, we're gonna transition into a cat stance. We're gonna do that by taking our front leg, that right leg, pull it in so you're balanced on the ball of your foot. Some people prefer a wider cat stance. Some people prefer a more narrow cat stance. You find what's more comfortable for you. As you do that, you're going to do another right hand inward block. We're going to say soup, soup, asa. Let's go from the beginning. Kempo kata, long one. Okay, starting with our left foot back. Soup, soup, asa. From here, we're going to add just two more moves. We're going to do that same inward block, reverse punch combination on the other side. So I'm gonna take that right leg that's up. I'm gonna step back into that heel to toe position. Inward block soup and transition to my front stance. Reverse punch asa. Okay, and all of that's done facing towards your front, 12 o'clock. Let's do that again. Kempo kata, long one. Soup, asa, soup. Soup, pasta. Again, last time. Kempokata, long one. Soup, pasta. Soup, soup, pasta. All right, guys, relax, dance. If you are working on sword kata, please grab your swords. Mr. Forrester is going to take us through that. All right, team. We are going to be working on our sword kata, which is called Four Corners. Now, first, I'd like to remind everybody that these are weapons. These are not toys. So we're not going to play with them, and we treat them with respect. So first, I would like you all to take your sword. We're going to place it on the ground, and then we are going to bow. Pick up your sword, and we're going to place it through our belt. Blade side up. All right, team. For our bow in, we are going to stand feet together, hand at our side, other hand on our sword. So, what we are going to do is say the name of the kata, four corners. Then we are going to bow. Now, team, first thing we are going to do is we are going to step out with our right foot, and as we step out with our right foot, we are going to use our thumb to push the sword free. So, right step, push the sword free. Left step, we're going to bring our hand across, placing it on our sword. Notice how my fingers are facing up, wrapping around. So, start over again. We're going to step right step left grabbing onto our sword 
Now we are going to step right again as we draw and strike out to the side. Just like that. All right, team. Reset. So we're going to step out right, step left, step right. Now we're going to take two quick steps left, right, as we bring the sword straight overhead. Now from here, we are going to strike down. Just like that, team. Reset. All right. We're going to start out. We're going to step right, step left, step right. Two quick steps. Left, right, strike down. Good, team. One more time. We are going to go ahead. We are stepping right, stepping left, right, left, right. All right, team. If you need to review that, please feel free to go ahead and rewind the video so that way you can uh, get another look at this kata. All right, if you are working on your black belt curriculum, Miss Casey will be taking you through Silk Wind. Thank you, sir. You're gonna have to come right back out to attack me in a minute. So, team, we're working on a technique called Silk Wind. And as soon as Mr. Forrester is back out here, he's gonna demonstrate what the attack looks like. It's a double arm grab. So he's gonna take his arms and slip them through both of my arms here. What I'm going to do first is I'm gonna do two palm strikes um, I, some people have seen it as double pinches. We're going to do palm strikes today to the groin. Okay, so I strike, strike. From here, I'm going to take one foot. In this case, it's my left foot. And I'm going to stomp on his toes. All right, so I stop driving my heel down. As I do that, or right afterwards, I'm going to take my other foot, the right foot, and I'm going to scoop up into the groin. And as I do that, I'm also going to lift up this right arm. I'm going to then step out, but notice how I still have his other hand trapped. I'm going to then take my other foot, dancer step, and turn this, boom. You can't really see him at the angle, so we're gonna just adjust. I'm here for that arm break, okay? Thank you, sir. All right, guys, here we go. Silk wind, we're gonna do it a couple times. So start with your hands behind your back. You're going to do two groin strikes. You're gonna take your hand and push right into the groin, okay? So we're going to go left, right. We're gonna take our left foot and stomp. As we do that, our other foot's going to scoop. Let's try that again. So we hit left, right, left, stomp, right, scoop. One more time, let's just get that first part ready. Double palm strike, strike, strike. Left, stomp, right, scoop. Good, I'm gonna do that on the other side. Might help for those of you who like mirroring better or if you wanna get proficient on both sides, flip it, try the other side. So again, we're going to palm, palm. Now I'm gonna take my right stomp, left scoop. Let's try that again, opposite side. Ready, strike, strike, stomp, scoop. One more time, strike, strike, stomp, scoop. All right, now we're gonna add that last final step, our spin around and arm break. So let's go back to the original side. We've got our left strike, right strike, left stomp, right scoop. That leg we scoop with, that's the foot we're going to step forward with. So as soon as we scoop, that foot's landing forward. We're gonna take the other foot, our left foot in this case, dancer step around, and you're going to unwind as you take your right hand and break. Your left hand's the one that's keeping that arm pinned, so make sure as you're spinning, you keep that left hand in close. Let's do that again. So we've got palm, palm, left, stomp, right, scoop. We're keeping that left hand trapped. We land forward with our scoop leg. We dance our step and spin as we break. 
Good. One more time and we'll switch and do it the opposite way. Here we go. Ready? Strike, strike, stomp, scoop, step, spin, break. Again, I glide. We're going to do it one last time. Here we go. Silk wind, double arm grab from behind. Strike, strike, stomp, scoop, step, step, spin and break. All right, let's flip it. Again, if you learn better by mirrored, this would be the mirrored version. Otherwise, it's the opposite side. So now starting with the right, strike, strike, other side, right stomp, left scoop, left glance forward, right dancer steps, we turn and we break with the other arm. Let's do that again. Strike, strike, stomp, scoop, we spin and break. One last time, silk with double arm grab from behind. Strike, strike, stomp, scoop, step, step. Awesome. All right, guys, Mr. Forrester is going to take us through our lesson of the week and moving right into our workout afterwards. Thank you, sir. All right, team. Our lesson of the week is super cool. Everyone say, harness the power. Think about Niagara Falls. If you ever have a chance to go there, it is really beautiful. Trillions of gallons of water have been flowing over Niagara Falls for hundreds of years. It took one person to think of a plan, to create the plan, and to have a goal to harness that power and turn it into electricity. Think about all the homes that it generates electricity for. It's thousands of kilowatt hours. They were able to grow crops, start businesses, and have a better life because someone found a way to harness that power. I was thinking, we all have our own talents. We are all good at something. We just have to figure it out. But just because you're good at something and just because you have a talent doesn't mean that it's being harnessed enough in the right way to grow and improve the lives around you. That's the thing to think about this week. Think about Niagara Falls as the same energy that you have inside you. And is it being harnessed properly for you to become the best that you can be? All right, team, when I say what's our goal, you're going to say black belt excellence, sir. What's our goal? All right, team, we're going to move right into our workout. We're going to start out with one minute round of jab cross. So everybody tap on that right leg, back of your grounding stance. Ah. All right, team, when I say go, one minute, as many jab cross as you can, suit asa. All right, team, get ready, get set, go. Suit asa, 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 suit asa. Su-asa, 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 your feet, team. All right, team, the other side, go. Su-asa, 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 su-asa. Supasa, 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 and time. All right, round two. We're gonna add the knee. So jab cross knee. Mr. Forrest here is going to give us a go and we're going to start off in that guarding stance. Go! Soup, soup, pasta! 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 Soup, soup, pasta. Soup, soup, pasta. Soup, soup, pasta. And switch. On the other side, ready, go. Soup, soup, pasta. 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 Soup, soup, Soup soup answer. Soup soup answer. Soup soup answer. And 
and time. Switch round three. All right, team, for our next round, we are gonna do squat wheel kicks. So what that is, team, we are gonna have our feet spread a ways apart. We're gonna have our hands up. We're gonna squat down. Then we're gonna start off with our right leg. We're gonna do a wheel kick, squat back down, wheel kick on the other side and repeat. All right, team, one minute, get ready, get set and go. Awesome. 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 before our squat jab cross um but we're or, well jab cross knee but we're gonna have a squat this time that's what i meant to say so we're gonna get back in that garden stance oh yeah we're gonna squat first or do a duck jab cross knee here we go ready begin duck soup soup arsa. duck soup soup arsa. duck soup soup arsa. duck soup soup arsa. Duck, soup, soup, arsa. Duck, soup, soup, arsa. Duck, soup, soup, arsa. And duck, soup, soup, arsa. And duck, soup, soup, arsa. And duck, soup, soup, arsa. Jump up, switch. Here we go, other side. Ready? Duck, soup, soup, arsa. And duck, soup, soup, arsa. Duck. Soup soup arsa and duck soup soup arsa 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 and last one duck soup soup arsa relax last round. All right, team, for our last round, we are going to do push-up, stand-up, wheel kick. So, team, that's basically like a burpee, except we're going to get up into our guarding stance and throw out a wheel kick. All right, team, get ready, get set, begin. Ah! Soup! Awesome! with a couple stretches here before we end our class. So I want everyone to just relax your body. Let's take a big deep breath into our nose and out through our mouth. This time, keep breathing. This time on our group inhale, we're going to reach for the sky. On our exhale, we're going to reach down for our toes, focusing on keeping your legs straight and hanging down like a rag doll. Here we go. Ready? Breathe in. 
Hands up, hold it for a second, and exhale. Reach down. And just kind of hang down there. Keep focusing on your deep breathing. Nice and slow. Bring that heart rate down. Keep your knees straight and just hang. Good. Nice. Slowly come back up. We're going to step our foot out as we go down into a sumo squat here. Use your elbows to push your knees out. Really stretching that, those groin muscles out. Good. Keep breathing into your nose. Out your mouth. Good. Nice. And slowly stand back up. Good. You guys keep breathing. Keep stretching. Um, team, as far as announcements, we have our ambassador training coming up on the 20th. Make sure you reach out to your head instructor if you guys are interested. Um, that way, I'd love to see you guys there. And that's pretty much it. Again, congratulations to everyone who got their new belts. Thank you for joining us for our very first on-demand class this cycle. And we'll see you next week. Maybe. See you guys.